Hi, are you confused about choosing your next career move, whether it has to be data analytics, data science or data engineering? Well, stay till the end. In this video, we shall be talking about each one of them individually and we will also be discussing the pros and cons of each one of them. I'll also be giving you great ideas on which career path you should be landing upon based on your background and based on your previous experience and knowledge. Stay till the end and see you in the video. Let's talk about a data analytics or a data science problem that we usually solve in the industry. It all starts with business understanding. After business understanding, then comes your data understanding. What is business understanding? That means if you are working in a particular industry, then you should have that industry knowledge. You should know what problems you are solving and what is the objective of this particular problem. What should be the possible outcomes? Once you are clear with the business understanding, then comes data understanding. After data understanding comes data collection and data preparation, where you actually have to talk to various databases, the teams that are owning those databases, get an access to the data and then start preparing data. Preparation of data is one of the most important critical phase where we have to do a lot of things. Data cleansing, you know, getting rid of invalid data types, getting rid of missing values and so on. After your data is prepared, what comes is your initial data analysis which we also call as exploratory data analysis. And in that exploratory data analysis, we usually get some insights from the data. Now talking about a typical data analyst, this is what a data analyst does. Data collection, understanding the business problem is something which a business analyst is doing, but in some companies, data analysts also do that. Data understanding, data collection, data preparation and EDA is something that is the major skills of data analyst. Talking about the tech stacks, what you need to learn if you want to jump into data analytics. One is going to be a language. So Python is a preferred language. Now, people who are coming from non-programming backgrounds, if you still want to become a data analyst, yes, it is possible. Data analysis, can also be done without Python programming language. You can also do it on SQL. You can also do it on some BI tools. After learning the programming skills, Python, then comes the most important thing, which is SQL. SQL is nothing but structured query language. In case you are new to SQL, you can go ahead and check out my channel. There are end to end videos on SQL. Well, I have end to end videos on Python as well. After SQL comes, basics of Excel and then comes some of the business intelligence tools. What happens is after you get your insights normally or 50% of the times you are also told to create some dashboards. So when you're creating dashboards, you might use Power BI or Tableau. So it is always better to use or learn one of these BI tools. Now coming back to the data science part. Again, going back to the steps involved in solving a problem, business understanding, data understanding, data collection, data preparation, ADA. Once your ADA is done, normally a data analyst gives a handover to the data science team. Hey, these are the insights that we have got. The data science team is responsible for creating the machine learning algorithms or the deep learning algorithm models. Those models is that step is called as modeling. Modeling is a step where data scientists or machine learning engineers basically work on the model preparation, on the model tuning, hyperparameter optimization and lot more things there, feature engineering and lot more. Once your final model is ready, that is ready for deployment. Now talking about skills, data scientists, 100% you need a programming language. R or Python is kind of recommended. But if you want a recommendation from me, then Python is going to be the most important one. Then comes all the prerequisites of data analyst, like basics of SQL, basics of Power BI or Tableau is definitely going to be an add on to your skill. 
But on top of that comes your predictive modeling part, machine learning knowledge, Python, machine learning knowledge, knowledge on natural language processing, deep learning algorithms or computer vision algorithms. So if you are coming from a non-technical background, becoming a data scientist is not impossible, but it is going to be difficult. Now, while I was talking about the deployment part, that's where your data engineer comes into picture. A data engineer not necessarily works on a data science problem. Data engineers also work on non-data science problems. But majorly, data engineer is somebody who does the engineering part. Imagine you have created a local model, a Python notebook. But how that notebook can be created like a web application or something which is accessible to the whole world or maybe all the users of your company. Now they cannot given they cannot access your notebook which is in your local system, right? So what happens is the data engineers kind of create the data pipeline. While the data is coming, they try to store the data, give certain amount of data access to the machine learning team. Machine learning team builds the models using that data, processes it. The process data also goes into the pipeline and to the database and finally you create a web application. So the engineering part is done by the data engineers. Talking about the skills, data engineering is coding skills is must. So Python, PySpark, a lot of languages are required here. On top of that, knowledge on big data technologies, Spark, Hadoop, Kafka, all these are going to be very important. So in short, if you are coming from a non-programming background, then definitely data analyst or the path of data analysis is going to be easier. The time span that you need to master that is going to be like three to four months. Well, some, some of you might also be thinking that three to four months is definitely not possible. I would say three to four months is definitely not possible to make you 100% ready. But I'm pretty much sure with that piece of learning that you have in three to four months, I'm pretty much sure that you can land up a job. And everybody knows that to master a skill, you might need more time, which is okay. Once you jump into a job, then you can also do on-job training. In parallel, you should also keep your learning process going on. If you are coming from a programming background or an affinity towards learning programming, or if you feel that programming could be done by you, in that case, data science option is going to be a good one. The learning path for a data science starts with data analytics. Data analytics is kind of a prerequisite to data science. So once you know the data analytics part, probably like two to three months, and then comes the data science part to kind of semi master it, you would definitely require a total span of six months, three months there and three months here. And if you feel that you are very good at big data technologies, you could be interested in cloud technologies, creating pipelines, you are very much strong in programming, then data engineering is going to be an option for you. And learning data engineering going to be, might take you around. Uh, data analytics or data science is not a prerequisite to the data engineering part, but definitely uh, some of these techniques might help you, but none, none other than that, data engineering career path is separately completely different. The total journey might take you around five to six months to kind of understand 50-60% of the topics which will be good enough to help you to find a job. Well, that's all about this particular topic. In case you are learning data analytics or data science or you want to learn, you want to join one of my boot camps, then probably get in touch with me. You will find the links to my profile in the description below. You will also find WhatsApp groups in the description below. Join that and we are coming up with a lot of boot camps in the near future. See you and that's all about this particular video. I hope you have enjoyed it and have taken some takeaways from this video. If you like it, please like, share and subscribe to the channel.